Good afternoon, YouTube and Facebook viewers. I am Rebecca Sismarski with the Register Mail newspaper. I am here today with Joe Kennedy, who is the owner of Rib Shack in Galesburg. And we were kind of talking, Joe, just to get us started. Um, how old is Rib Shack? When did it get started? It's 52, so it's 66. Wow. And have you, have you been the owner that whole time? Uh, 34 years I bought it. Wow. So in 84, I took it over. Cool. And who, how did it get started? Uh, it was going to be a storage shed for Herbert Lights. You're probably too young to know about Herbert Lights. No. It used to be a steakhouse next door. And this was going to be the, uh, a storage shed for it. But they decided to make a rib house out of it, so I swept it in. Wow. It used to be a Victoria and um, Watauga's post office, you know, 100 years ago. And they moved it up here and that's that. That's really cool. And who were the original owners? Frank Majuri and Nunk and Tony. Three brothers owned both buildings. Wow. Yeah. And you were kind of saying about how this side here, you think, is like over 100 years old? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Then over yeah. here, this was added in the 60s, you think, right? Yeah. yeah. Much of animals. Very cool. I wonder how many uh, people this can seat. Just about 50. Wow. It doesn't look that way from the outside, you know. That's small. <laughs> cool. And then why did you want to take it over? Well, I worked here when I was a kid. I started when I was 14 for 50 cents an hour, and I worked 10 years. Then uh, I worked two jobs. I became an electrician, and construction got slow, and this came up for sale. Wow. So I bought it, like I say, in 84. That's unbelievable to 50 cents, like how far that went back then. <laughs> Big bucks, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. And then since then, what were some changes you brought to the business when you took over? Oh, beans, onion rings, you know, haystack onion rings, and uh, smoked wings, pork rinds, fr fresh cooked pork rinds, and uh, pulled pork, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But we kept everything that he had before, that Frank had. Gotcha. Like the original rib recipe and everything? Yeah, everything the same. Is there a secret recipe? Like some ribs have a secret yeah, sauce? Yeah, we don't want to. You know how that goes. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, Frank started it when he took over 52. Cool. And I'm curious, what's your personal favorite item on the menu? Oh, I'd go uh, ribs fried chicken combination. Ooh. That's, that's two different tastes that way. That sounds really good. <laughs> how much is that? for? Uh, uh, fifteen forty nine for the dinner and at three sides. And is that something you added as well? Or? We added the combination dinners. Frank had the ribs, of course, and the fried chicken, but a lot of times people want two different tastes. So that's why we did that. Very cool. Have you had any, since it's been in business for so long, any like local celebrities come in and have a favorite food or? Oh yeah, but uh, I stay out of the dining room and let the waitress handle that. <laughs> she tells me about it, but. Uh, what are some of the stories she's had? Oh, just for my local business people, and a congressman comes in, and uh, you know. Really? Which one? Yeah, I'm not sure his name now. He's out of Chicago. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Cool. Wow. Why do you think, too, I'm curious, um, that Rib Shack has been able to stay alive in Galesburg for so long? Because there's been a lot of barbecue places that have, like, come in, really have it worked. Mm -hmm. um, what's your secret? Well, we buy good stuff. Uh, we buy USA-made or raised ribs and catfish. We don't buy the foreign stuff. It's cheaper, but quality's not there. And four and a half pound chickens, instead of a three pound chicken, special order. And of course, to help, you gotta have good help. The manager, Jeff Knuth, he was here when I bought the place 34 years ago. And he hasn't been a, a minute late in 34 years. Wow. Just, you can't beat him. Awesome. He's a good guy. Have some of the waitresses and the staff members like stuck around that long? Yeah, too? most of them been here quite a few years. Yeah, quite a few years. It, it helps out a lot. Keep the same help. Yeah, how does that make you feel to know that like you're running a good operation that they want to stay on? So. Save some headaches. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Joe. I think that is all we'll have for now. Just so our uh, viewers know, um, what are your hours for the Rib Shack? Well, we closed Mondays. It's five till nine, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday and 4 till 9.30 on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Great. And viewers, you can uh, check that out then. And more questions with Joe this Sunday in the Register Mail. 